tricep deload. Again, really exciting. Try to contain yourself. So here I normally get the whole stack for 10 reps with um, a four second negative. So now I'm using like just a little bit more than half the stack. Same deal, really focusing on four, uh, really using that lockout. I'm gonna squeeze at the bottom, resist it up. Normally go hella heavy on these, but uh, here we're deloading. I'm out of cars. Lock it back, arms perpendicular to the floor. Just like that. See, I'm making it a little harder there by, um, you know, really, really squeezing and, uh, and focusing on, on form and contraction. What is the point of deloading an isolation exercise? Um, does it cause much central nervous system fatigue to take a set of tricep extensions to failure? No. But in keeping with the idea of this week is a bit of rest, recovery, recuperation. Um, you know, it's, it, it takes some weight off of the elbow joint. Uh, it just... But one week you're not going to lose any gains um, and you, you'll probably, if anything, see better workouts and, and better gains, whatever it is that you're doing uh, after the deload. So just play, play it by, do it by, do, do it by the numbers, do it by the book, um, deload everything. Uh, like I'm, I am, I'm going to deload abs as well at the end. Um, you know, just, do it, just do a couple of sets, get the blood in there, muscles working, you're squeezing, you're getting technically a workout. But uh, it's just a lot less intense. It lets the central nervous system recover, uh, avoids that burnout. Um, I mean, overtraining is one of those things that, unless you're an Olympic level athlete, you don't have to worry about. You know, you training three or four days at the gym, like for an hour or two, you're, you're not gonna overtrain. Um, in terms of a loss of gains, it's, it's either under eating or under sleeping, really under resting uh, is the closest thing to overtraining. But, um, yeah, I mean, if overtraining was something that regular people had to worry about, you know, just gym junkies or, or bodybuilders, um, then all of the manual labourers of the world who were, you know, lifting up, like carrying sod piles and, and bricks and mortar for like 12 hours a day, they would all be overtrained. They're not, they do fine. They go home, they have dinner, they're fine, you know, <laughs> they're, not, they're not overtrained. So uh, you, you're probably not overtraining. But um, it makes sense to do these once in a while, and um, I have a feeling that this is going to help me out, um, help me feel better, you know, about the about the a cut and everything. And yeah, like I'll I'll probably keep up with it. I'll I'll try to get more of these in into my routine. Um, similar things like I've I've tried um, sports massage, and uh, it was really really good. And I keep meaning to make it a regular part of my uh, you know every, every month or something. But you know, it's just it's, it's finding the time because you know I could. I could foam roll, I could go to stretching classes, I could get massages, but you know, if I've got that time, I'm probably just gonna use it to spend more time training, you know, we'll do cardio or something. So, makes sense to deload, try it uh, every maybe six to eight weeks, some people say four weeks, I think that's a bit excessive, but six to eight weeks, uh, particularly if you're feeling burnt out, give it a go. Hope that's been useful, remember to subscribe for more games.